Oh, so it is final day in Cairo. Um, so yeah, last night I didn't manage to get to the second pyramids. I got back to the hotel, had some food and a drink, and apparently it's just too late. I think everything closes quite early. So I didn't manage to get there. So today the plan is to go and see the museum because I heard the museums in Egypt are amazing. So I'm gonna head to one of those later on. And then I have booked a flight for this evening at 11 p.m. which will take me to Abu Dhabi. So this is actually the longest flight I will have been on this trip so far. I think it's three hours and 20 minutes. Bit of an awkward timing really. So I leave at 11 p.m. which means obviously I save money because I don't need accommodation for tonight. But I land in Abu Dhabi at half four in the morning. So I'm not really too sure what I will do when I get there, like, is there anywhere to go at half four in the morning? Um, and again, I'm not booked accommodation yet, and I'm guessing check-ins are always sort of like 12 onwards. Um, so I'll figure that out later. When I get to the airport, we'll figure all that out. So yeah, today's plan, just get up, um, go for breakfast, head to the museum, have a little look around that, and then yeah, another travel day. So uh, let's go, off to Abu Dhabi we go. Manchester. Manchester. UK, so I'm just bouncing around the world. I, I recognize the accent. The accent, yeah, it's quite a strong, <laughs> thick accent. <laughs> I ju we just met somebody from UK. Oh, really? What, in, in here or? Uh, Africa. So, what, what are you guys doing? Are you just traveling about? Or? Yeah, just traveling. Oh, same. fair. Yeah. So, when are you planning on going back to Chicago? Uh, in like three days. Three days. Yeah, we were in Kenya for a couple of days. Yeah. So, where have you been so far? Was we it just, just, today. just No, I mean, since leaving Chicago, oh, have you gone? Kenya. Kenya, then here, and then going back. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. So I left Manchester uh, on the 28th of September. I got a £10 flight, went to Carcassonne in France, stayed in France, then I went to Toulouse, flew from Toulouse to Milan, went all around Lake Como, uh, then I went to Bratislava, got the train to Vienna, went to Istanbul, then arrived here. You want a whole tour. Man. And now I'm thinking, do I just do the world tour? Do I just go around? If I get to Chicago, I'll have to hit you up and be oh, like, listen, I'm in Chicago now. Uh, yeah, I've got WhatsApp, Instagram as well, like whatever's, Instagram. I'll pop that in, it's, um, right, I'll follow you back in a sec, oh, but that's, sure, um, sure. that's my account. What, what do I have? You have uh, just this bill, the restaurant and the accommodation. Yes, for, yeah, uh, for the extra night, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to you. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll follow you back in a sec. Okay. It's been lovely to meet you as well. I don't think it's taxi craft. Taxi craft. Yeah, because it's my business. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing, cool. I'll follow you back anyway. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good to, good to meet you. You too. Enjoy the rest of your stay. If, if you're in Dubai, no, I'm today. are you going to Dubai? Uh, at 21 October. So, everything's okay? Yeah, lovely. I really enjoyed my stay. Great. Everyone was super friendly as well. So Thank you. So, I have to come here again? 100%. Yeah. Thank you. 100%. I'll tell my um, friends and family as well to... Um, Great. Have to come here. To come here, anytime. yeah. Welcome to you. Because you, you need to see those pyramids, don't you? It's uh, bucket list stuff yesterday. Yeah. You know, one thing I've noticed about solo traveling is you just meet so many amazing people that give you the time of the day because you're on your own. You're not with anyone else who's distracting you or makes you more unapproachable. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I met some amazing people like just then, that guy from Chicago, got a, a, a Russian friend now. Um, everyone's so lovely and interested in my journey and gonna follow it. So, um, yeah, advice to anyone is if you've got that itch to go traveling and no one will come with you or, or you wanna do it on your, on your own, just go and do it, honestly, just do it. You'll have the best time. just arrived at the um, National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, which everyone's been recommending. Uh, so I did my Google search and there is like all the museums, but all the locals have told me this is the place to go. Apparently this is where the mummies are kept. So we're here 
But just a side note, that Uber driver on the way here, like, I mean, he, he seemed a nice enough guy, but the roads and the way they drive is mental. It makes subway surfers look like a breeze. Honestly, the, no one takes notice of any lane markings. They're weaving in and out, constantly just flying through the traffic. It's uh, not something you get in the UK, that's for sure. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get myself inside now, spend the day exploring this, um, and then head to the airport, when probably when this closes now. I've um, got time to spare, so yeah, let's get inside and check the history of Egypt out. So now we're inside the museum, um, ready to have a look around. Here it is, apparently the mummies are down through there, which I'll go and see later. Uh, but yeah, I managed to get rid of my backpack as well and my hoodie, so they've got lockers here, so I'm guessing that's going to be safe. So that means I'm not lugging 12 kilograms around with me, which is just heavy. I hate the travel days because I have so much to carry. Um, but yeah, let's go and see all the stuff the museum has to offer. So that is the Egyptian museum done and dusted and my time in Cairo coming to an end. It's um, nearly five o'clock now so I mean I could probably head to the airport um, get there a little bit early and just chill out until the flight which is at 11 but um, yeah I've actually really enjoyed the time in Egypt the pyramids were amazing like that was such a bucket list moment for me and something that I really enjoyed and then today going into this museum was, was something pretty cool as well um, unfortunately you're not allowed to take pictures and video in the Royal Mummy Museum which I kind of get and even if I could I don't think I would out of respect because these are these are mummified bod bodies from two three thousand years B BC um, so yeah it's pretty pretty cool to see uh, some of the stories that go with them are mad so Ramesses the second is one that sticks in mind he um, had over 100 children or I think he had 100 boys and a dozen girls so he was a, a bit of a lad about town and then there was another Ramesses I think who was only in charge for six years which baffled me because he actually passed away at 16 years old so he must have been a pharaoh or king or whatever it was back in then from 10 years old to 16 um, and there's so much more that, that I forgot but uh, yeah over overall absolutely brilliant day really enjoyed my time in Cairo and in Egypt um, it's probably somewhere that I need to come back to and explore further because he's like Answar or Answan, Luxor, all these places with amazing amounts of history to him. Uh, they've just not had time to, to check out really. So yeah, maybe one to come back to. And then as of tonight, get the 11 p.m. flight to Abu Dhabi, land at half four tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, figure it out from there. They're so cute. Hey! Ah, take it, That's there's the mum. Yo, he'll move back. <laughs> she told me off. Yeah, dog mum told me there, didn't she? Um, yeah. So I think it's time to move on now. Go grab the Uber and just chill out in the airport. Maybe find a quiet space to start editing these videos because I'm not going to lie, I've only edited two of the videos so far. Um, so yeah, there's some catching up to be done. Let's go. something mental aren't they um, to begin with he was asking me for cash and stuff which makes no sense because you already pay on uber um, but i take it we didn't need any in the end and it turned into a party bus so 
you know, you can just never judge these things. So now I've arrived at the airport, it's 6 p.m. and the flight's at 11, so I've got loads of time. Just need to figure out which terminal I'm at. That's terminal one. I think that's terminal two. Um, get myself checked in, get some food, and then just chill out um, and get ready for the flight. Oh, what a nightmare. So I've come to the airport early because I'd done the museum and I had nowhere else to go. Um, and I obviously don't know Cairo well enough to go somewhere else. Uh, so I came to the airport. It's like 20 past six now and I'm not allowed to get my boarding pass until 8 p.m. because obviously the flight's at 11, so I was hoping to get through security and chill out in the lounge, and now I'm just stuck here waiting until um, the gate opens for me to check in, so that's two hours of no food because I'm starving now as well. I need some food, so yeah, there's not really much I can do, and I'm sure you can hear the crying. So, I don't know, I think tonight's going to be another long night. Um, without any sleep, so yeah, might have a look for uh, hotels and see where I can check in in Abu Dhabi tomorrow to recover yet again and then be free to do maybe the palace the following day, which will be Friday, so yeah, we'll just wait it out and see. Dhabi Airport, um, my phone won't update because I'm still on the Egyptian SIM card, so I'm not quite sure what time it is, I think it's 3.30am uh, local time, um, so I actually don't really know what to do with myself now because I've obviously got no accommodation booked for this evening, I've got no accommodation booked at all to be fair, um, so tired yet again, these late evening um, flights are really not the best. Um, in Air Arabia, legroom was horrendous. Far worse than Ryanair, and that's that's saying something. So, again, couldn't really get any kip on the plane. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just go through passport control um, and see if we can laze about in the airport till maybe six, seven a.m. Then have a look for some accommodation. Um, head there, hopefully get an early check-in if possible and just chill out tomorrow. Again, it's going to be like Egypt day one where I'm just going to need to catch up on my sleep, chill out and not do too much and then hopefully tomorrow uh, then head to the, the mosque and, and see that. So yeah, let's see where we end up anyway. Um, I've just gone and got a local SIM card and Dubai or Abu Dhabi must actually be two hours ahead of Cairo time because we've jumped forward now two hours so it's nearly 5am which is better I, th I think is better um, I still I still don't really know what to do um, maybe I look for a hotel and just head there and hopefully like maybe I can sleep in a lounge or something until my, my room's ready um, or I can, I can have one last wander around this airport and see if there's a quiet place to kick down because obviously like these seats aren't comfy like I'm not going to be able to sleep here um, so yeah maybe I'm best sort of figuring out where I'm going to stay and then see if I can just get transport there I'm guessing taxi might be the best route but again I've got a, a local sim now so I'm going to start googling um, everything and, and see if I can figure it out but yeah, I just, sometimes I think I can't think properly or speak properly when I get this tired. Um, so sleep is, is first priority, really. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll sort something out and we'll get moving very, very soon. Right, so I've just jumped in a taxi from the airport. It's now half past five and we have got a room booked now at Al Ain Palace. So it's got a pool, it's got a gym. Um, it was only £46, but then when you add the taxes, it goes up to £60. Uh, so a little bit more expensive than than what I'd like to pay, and especially when I've been staying in hostels in Europe. But 
there's just no option in, um, in Abu Dhabi so that's where I'm going to be staying tonight I just hope they let me have an earlier check-in so I can get some sleep but if, if not I'll just go by the pool and, and chill out there so um, once that sun rises all should be good and now we are just on the way to the hotel and how far um, how far away are we 25 25 minutes yeah perfect so we've got 25 minutes to just sit and relax um, and then yeah let's see what else we go to later on today mm -hmm. 